In fact, Dynatrace, uh, I don't know much about it, but we have uh, for our users, for our program participants, we have some special tools. And one of them is a filtering tool that helps us find the candidates that we want to be trading options on. And Dynatrace actually came to my attention through one of our tools. And uh, I'm going to pull this up on the screen here. So Dynatrace uh, has, I'm going to look at, uh, take a, a zoom out. So you can see that Dynatrace has fallen off of their highs, like many top tech stocks have. By the way, Dynatrace is a tech stock. They're kind of a software company that specialize in taking some of the more complicated stuff like uh, programming on AWS or Azure or all these cloud sites that, you know, you require a computer science expert to be able to figure out and putting layers of software above it that make it so that kind of the average small or medium business could figure out how to do that. So Dynatrace fell off their top, but you'll notice that they're starting to flatten out here, getting into the patterns that we like to trade as premium traders but maybe they haven't uh, completely um, they haven't completely matured into a sideways pa pattern. And so the question is 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 there a way for us to still trade uh, it and trade its options? And the answer is absolutely. And so you kind of want to come up with a thought process behind um, easily adjusting the trading strategy to change on a dime. And so for Dynatrace, you know, it's got this overall downward momentum over the last six months, but it shows it may have been finding a bottom. It has just topped out. In fact, it wasn't long ago that I got a signal on our fast MACD indicator to kind of give us a uh, shorting signal. So that means when I say shorting, that's the underlying symbol. It means either I'm going to short the underlying symbol or I could buy a put option that is equivalent to shorting. So if I don't want to short because shorting requires that I have a margin account and an agreement with the broker, or maybe have some collateral or something on, on land, hand, if I want to keep this in my cash trade, keep it simple or even do it in a retirement account, I'll instead buy some put options, go long some put options, which is equivalent to shorting the stock. So now would probably be a good time to be doing that. Now I'm doing it in my paper trading log because as Sip pointed out, um, there I, we don't have much experience with this company. So I always like to paper trade it first to become comfortable with it. You know, if I'm going to start getting involved with a new ticker symbol, I got to get to know it first. I got to take it out for coffee. I got to take it out for some drinks before I get married to it, right? Before I, or go away on a two week cruise where there's no way to go except jumping off the cruise ship. So I'm not going to just jump into this relationship. So I'm going to do some paper trading. But yeah, I think now's the time to short Dynatrace. And if we look over here at the option chain, man, there's a, a heck ton of liquidity. We've got so much liquidity that, you know, whether we bought or sold options in all the different uh, expiration dates, we'd be able to find something to buy and sell. There's thousands of open interest contracts. The bid ask spread is doable. So, you know, I'd want to go ahead and buy back month put options. And then depending on where it bottoms, you know, if it bottoms probably below $25, when it bottoms, that's when I'll think about taking my profits and running. If it doesn't bottom below $25, if instead it bottoms like at 30 or 32.50 or even as low as 27.50, if it bottoms over here, well, then my idea would be to sell premium. And this is what I'm talking about it being able to adjust the position on a moment's notice, depending on what we see. These type of strategies where we're profiting on the downturn, we're profiting on the volatility increase, but then if it doesn't go as far down as we want, we can profit on the premium. I mean, this is how we can manipulate options. This is what I teach.